I'm Jamie the Haymaker Hey here at Ice 5 at Earlham, here with Tom Blackledge. How's it going, mate? Going good, mate. Thank you. So the show's really starting to evolve now, really picking up. Tell us a little bit about your input that you've had over the last couple of years. Um, you know, obviously we started Ice, um, I started it off, uh, and then obviously Aaron Wilkinson and Cal Prince got on board. Um, you know, we just took it to, to the next level again, you know, with our input. Um, today, hopefully, it's going to be our, our biggest show yet. Yeah, looking at the card, I mean, this is this is definitely the biggest card you've had. Um, there must be some facts that you're really looking forward to. Um, do you know what? There's pretty much most of them because I, you know, I do most of the matching on the show. Um, I look at a lot of the fights, the fights that I think I would, I would like to see. Um, you know, there's just a lot, out there, a lot I'm really looking forward to seeing. You know, not just the guys from my gym, obviously who I, who I coach, but um, you know, there's a lot of others that I want to watch myself, which unfortunately I probably won't get to watch on the day, but I'll have to watch them on the, on the video a few years later on. Now going probably on the bias side for yourself now, but there's a lot of uh, hype and a lot of talk about Andrew Clamp at the minute. Uh, obviously he's now fighting out your gym and has been uh, since he turned pro. Um, tell us a little bit about Andrew. Uh, I mean, you know, Clamp is you know, a great, great friend of mine and a great student. Um, he came to me a, a long time ago now and um, you know, he's literally just the perfect fighter for me to have. He, he, anything I tell him to do or ask him to do, he does. The techniques I ask him to do, he does. And breaking his game down and, and telling him what's going to be good for him and, and what isn't, he listens perfect. And, you know, hopefully on his fight, you're going to see them improvements even more again. So it's, you know, it's that next level. Everything that I get my guys doing, I'm planning for their style, um, you know, as far as coaching wise. And I think tonight, obviously you and Ian, because you call the shots, you're going to see what, what it is that he's been working on and you'll see it in the, in the fight. Now, a lot of people are talking about Dan Konecki being his toughest opponent to date. Do, do you agree with that? Uh, I do agree with that. Yeah, I think, you know, Dan Konecki is a very legitimate opponent. Um, you know, when Carl gave him to us, we were like, okay, that's a great fight, he's the icon, light heavyweight champ, um, you know, and he's, he's a skillful, dangerous opponent, but I just believe that we've got, you know, Andrew to the level that, you know, he, and he's going to constantly improve, and I just think he's just going to be way too much for everybody, I think he'll be at the top of the rankings, you know, towards the end of this year, which is, which is what the plan is, you know, towards the start of next year. Um, and I just don't think that Dan could do too much with him. I think Lomas, people thought that, that Andy would struggle with Lomas for a little while and he took him out in what, two and a half minutes or something like that. And not only took him out, but dominated him in, in, in a big fashion. So, Which no one really does. That's what I mean, no one does that to, to Sean Lomas. You know, Sean's a very good fighter and he's very tough. You know. So tell us a little bit about your vision for the future of ICE and where, where you want it to go. Um, well, I mean, obviously, you know, we, we're happy here. We, we love it in, in Erlum and we've got a, a lovely show going on and, and all the guys who work with us are brilliant. Yourself, Ian, uh, you know, everybody who's involved in ICE, we love it. But also, I, I have a vision of it being bigger than, than what it is. And, and you know, uh, we've got the Ritz show, which is going to be huge. Um, doesn't mean that we're getting rid of this show, we're going to be running this as well and the others, but it's extra, extra things, bigger platforms for guys. You know, if you look at today, we've, you know, we run the show, you know, the likes of me and Aaron, we fought on the bigger shows, I've cornered on the bigger shows, you know, you know, I've been to them all, the UFC, Bellator, Cage Warriors, all of these shows, we've, you know, we've been involved in and I know how it all works. And you see, for me as a coach and a, a, as a fighter, I want my guys to get practice at it as soon as they can because if that's where they're going to be they need to know who it is and they need to know them feelings what you get and they need to get used to it um, and that's always been my plan with ice to get people prepared to get awesome fights on no pressure on the fighters but let them get used to how it, how it feels so do you feel you've learned from a lot of mistakes that you've seen on shows oh massively yeah you know huge not only that you know the there's various things what we have uh, input, you know, myself, Carl and, and, uh, and all talk, chuck ideas about, we try it. You know, it's like the new gloves 
we got legacy to make this is new world. So, you know, I've been to I almost have I don't know how many pairs of gloves at home. I don't know, you know, there's none like them. The fact that you know, I never understood the same, I think they're trying them on. The fighters are trying them on. They know what size they are, they get given these gloves, it's ready to go. They all look the part, they all enjoy it, they get these gloves better gloves. And will they be on sale soon? It will be on sale. <laughs> We will be on sale soon. Um, it's funny really because we were talking to uh, Ian Butland before uh, when he interviewed him and we were talking about the input that you and Aaron can have um, to the fact that you've obviously fought on, on the world's biggest shows. And it's, it's quite funny that he had exactly the same sort of ideas of what you were saying where it really has helped with what you've seen and where you've been and stuff like that. So can, I'm, I'm glad that, that, is, that is the vision for, for ICE. Yeah. So looking on to tonight's show then, you must, uh, you've got to pick at least one fight that's going to be uh, one that people are looking forward to. Um, do you know what? It's difficult without me being biased and saying mine. You know, you've obviously got the Aaron Johnson fight, the Antonio Sheldon fight. I think it's going to be a great fight. Clampy is going to be a great fight. You know, all of my guys are going to be great, but there's a few that I'm looking forward to watching. I think the Dean Williams and Dillashane Shane could be a potential fight of the night. Um, there was a couple of others. Uh, all of the All Powers guys. You know, there's, there's a lot of talk between these these guys. I'm looking forward to seeing all of them fight. Uh, it's good to have we've got Gildings guys on board. You know, Jamie's a, a great kickboxer, a great trainer. You know, I'm, I've not seen many of his guys fight MMA yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing them because I expect that they'll be very good themselves too. Um, you know, and I know Jamie ain't putting people out there just to just to be bodies. I expect they'll, they'll be great fights. You know, it's very difficult for me to say exactly what'll be yeah, you know the, the main fights because there's that many good gyms and that's the other thing with ice what what, what we, we made sure we had there was no easy fights you know what i mean we're not we're not going right we'll give this guy sells 50 tickets so let's give him this guy who will have to pay 50 quid and he'll take a dive i don't want any of that the, the guys come in if they're on ice the legit fighters they're never asking for easy fights the coaches aren't asking for easy fights they're saying yeah that's fine that, that fight of a guy who's got two and oh and a guy who's got two and oh We'll have that fight, 5-0 and oh or whatever, the similar records, the similar styles, whichever, they're happy to take that fight. And that's that's important at, for MMA to grow. You know, you get a lot of these sh small shows, they're not looking after the fighters, they're looking after the pockets, and it's going to kill MMA off. And that's important that we get these shows with these fights, legitimate fights, with people fighting, and they should fight. Uh, and, and that's how the sport's going to get better and better and better, and people will want to watch. Win or lose, people will still support you as long as you fight. That's, that's the key point. And, and at amateur, if you're protecting your record, you're going to struggle later on in your career big time. Yeah, that's definitely something that we've, we've not had on ice, isn't it? I mean, from the matchups that we've had on every single one so far, we've had some of the, some of the greatest amateur fights that I've yeah. seen. And I know uh, Ian, Ian Butland said exactly yeah, the same big, thing. Yeah, I mean, think like Leon Clark and, and uh, Dean Gaskell. You know, straight away that comes to mind. FCPC, I always try and get my guys against Stapes' guys. And, I, and as you know, I'm really good friends with Stapes and all them. Yeah. But I know that they're going to fight. I know that they'll give my guys the biggest test that I can say, right, now you need to do this and do this and do this for your next fight. And, okay, we learn from it. And that's, that's the ideal situation as a coach and as a promoter that you want. And then, like I say, you'll sometimes get these guys who won't take the hard fights so they won't be on ice. You'll see that they'll not be there. Well, thank you very much, mate, and have a, a superb night. Well, Great talking to you. you. Mate.